Oh. Forgot about shirt. Yep, but got it on right. Huh? No, that's not right. No. Okay, there we go. No, that's looks ridiculous. Well, I'm guessing you're just going to embrace the fact that I have no shirt to wear. Anyways, as promised, once again, on this day, I will be reviewing a Nerf Blaster. Today, it's an old classic favorite. And most of you are going to cringe, but most of you are going to be... With your colors flying high, the Recon CS6. Now, I do not have to include stock because when I got it, I didn't have a stock. It didn't have a stock on it. But this is basically what's left of my Recon. Now, before we begin, something was a little too tight, so I removed that pin there. Let me find that. Okay. Um, so what I did is took this screwdriver and unscrewed th this barrel, and I noticed that I decided now this had a spring on it, and this piece in it, so I decided just to take that piece out, but it still works fine without it. So boom. I guess, modified barrel. But I'm sure barely half of... I'm basically sure that no nerfers would notice this. But anyway. Let's take a look at a... Base blaster on its own. So here is the, uh, the Recon C6 on its own. As you can see, it's a yellow... And black and gray nerf blaster. Actually, it's got some nice... So, um, let me back away from the sun real quick. Okay. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got some nice metallic gray or gunmetal on it, which looks very nice. Despite being an instrument blaster. Um, oh, and also I will review what's left of my, anyway, Nerf Stampede later in this video. So you can see my entrance. The rabbit, I'm sorry, not the rabbit strip. Uh, the recon is spring powered, so you top prime it like this. And as you can see in, in here, it's magazine fed, so. And, oh, um, I forgot to tell you this, but, um, as I saw with a worker swordfish video, um, on the, ah! As I was saying, on the strife, as you can see, it goes straight. 
and then there's things like that, and it, it and then it rolls back, and it rolls out. The worker swordfish does not do that. So effectively, the worker swordfish is like an aftermarket strife. Now I got this rep this week on for four dollars. And for four dollars, that's pretty cheap for a nerf blaster. Now it had a six round magazine. And note it will not be all of your nerf blaster the magazines. But everything else will. So yes, it can feed off of a scavenger bag. Up front is the end truck attachment to the lug so you can attach it on your barrels like this included one here. And this barrel has two rails for your attachments. So you can put whatever you want up there. But who knows what you want up there. Also has this flip up sight. And this was further used as a retaliator barrel. So I'll do my best to create under retaliator. And here's how I see a Nerf Retaliator with my current attachments. So I guess Retaliator. And since this is a recon, why not make this video more interesting by also making a video review? I'm gonna blast her at the same type. So allow me to bring it in something. And here we have the modulus recon. Mark II. Yes, the Recon Mark II glass. And apparently, I don't think mine is defective. So I'm going to see if this guy can feed off me. I'm mad. Like this. And yes, it can feed. But it can actually feed off one. Yes, it can feed off a 25 round drum. So this effectively a nerf recon, but um, it comes with snazzy new attachments. So let's take out the core blast so you can see what it looks like on its own. So here it is on its own. And this surprisingly was my first modulus blaster. And this was released around the same time as the ion fire was. Now my cousin Brandon did own the Iron Fire, not the Recon Mark II. Because I didn't want to go breech loading. 
So here's that six round mag. So it goes in the magazine with XO. And it is compatible with all your other on strike mags, such as your 25 round drums if you totally want to. Speed Doves, this is from a Strata This is from a Strata Hawk. And let me show you what I, happens if I try to load it in the same Look at this. It won't even fit. But anyway, here is a Stampede. No strike attachment lug because of the barrel design. Um, there's an instrument tactical rail, but that one's blocked. There's a long rail, but this part right here is blocked from it. Side rail, side rails, top rail, whole bunch of rails. And there's a spring powered and a flywheel. How does that even make any sense? And if you're wondering what should you buy over that and a rapid strike, um, in my opinion, go buy a rapid strike. It's clearly superior in every way. So don't buy, don't waste your time getting a stampede. Get a rapid strike. But the Recon Mark II has its side rail. Now let's take a look at the included attachments of them. Oh shoot, I put in the wrong mag. Anyway. Um it comes with these two attachments, a stock and a barrel. So let's take a look at the barrel. Now, I'm guessing this shell was actually used for the, um, the Chrono Barrel in the Ghost Op series. But it has an under rail. So you can put whatever you want under there. onto an extra glass just like so. Like that. And then here's a stock. Pretty short. And holding it like this is a little weird and all. Anyway. Um,
Um, time to make a review, review of the long range kit. For all you snipers out there. So I got the strife. So the scope attaches on like so. And the barrel attaches on like any other nerf blaster. And the bipod attaches like onto any nerf blaster along with your barrel. So you can make a uh, effective like I don't know, nerf sniper rifle. Like that.